So, we're about potentially two or three weeks away from season one, which is really cool, right? That's really uh, I, okay. I don't care, guy. Which is which is really cool, right? Really excited. I feel like a lot of us, myself included, it kind of feels like we're in a bit of a purgatory, um, just because you know we have the new season about to start. And if you're gonna grind and create a new character, like you might as well just wait for the new season. And so, uh, me personally, I've been waiting to get back into Necromancer, so I can't wait for the new season to start. Because right now, it just doesn't feel like it makes sense to start a new character. Like you know, before I think my first character that I made when starting was a uh, I did a, a Necromancer. Recently, you know, they just buffed Blood Necro, so. I think it's gonna be dope as hell to get back into uh, a blood necro. So with season one started, you know a few things that the, I'm hoping is gonna happen. Maybe not if not this season, but like relatively soon. You know they have their new Blizzard has their next fireside chat coming up this Thursday, the sixth. So with Blizzard's next fire fireside chat coming up. I have a couple of things I'm hoping they talk about. Thank you, Wanderer. Like, you know, Without I would you, say, for one, I'm hoping that when the here. new season start, please uh, take this. I'm hoping that when the new season starts, priority quests, very similar to like main quests, will be done for all characters. Because every time you start a new character, you have to do their priority quest too. And, you know, I, I think this might be a lot more hopeful just for the simple fact that some of the priority quests, like, they try to teach you things, which I get, but I feel like, you know, if you've done it once, you kind of get the gist of how to craft a sigil or how to fucking upgrade your potion, so I really hope that this could just be done for all your classes. I mean, I just think it might be a simple quality of life update that would just take away from some of the unnecessary grind that we're always having to do. One other thing on my wish list that I'm really hoping for, I'm, you know, they buff Nightmare Dungeons, dope, great. You know, get to, now we get to really get more XP from Nightmare Dungeons, level up our glyphs, etc. But I would love to see more mob density in the outside world. Just to switch things up a bit, you know, just because I think that, you know, the world that they've created, Sanctuary, is really good. And so if we could just get more mob density so it feels worth it to just walk around killing mobs out on the royal just to switch things up, that would be one of my favorite things. So, mob density is top of my wish list for sure in the world and something along that lines too would, would be um solo xp you know i st i still think solo xp i mean we all know solo xp is still a bit lacking compared to grouping up in a party and like everybody popping an elixir or whatever the case is also in addition to having clear speeds you as well are going to get just general more XP. So I would love to see a little bit more solo XP. Um, I think that would be really cool. I think some uh, solo XP buff would be pretty dope. So the third thing on my wish list that I kind of been thinking about, I'm, I'm surprised isn't in here, would be network statistics. Like, especially, what the fuck? Like this right here, like that right there. Like, I was just lagging as I went to that other section. Like having some network statistics so I can see what my ping is hidden as I'm moving around, especially if I'm playing a hardcore character, would be a game changer. Especially since we have to wait till season two for that um, DC sort of patch where you get, where you get your, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? The scroll escape will automatically apply. I feel like having any sort of network statistics, seeing what your ping is like, so you know what's happening to your game and your instance before it even happens. 
um, you know, that would save you a lot of heartache and being like, oh crap, I'm freezing, and you're like trying to spam, ping. You're like, I don't know if I'm getting hit, I don't know if it's registered, I don't know if my potions are registering or anything like that. Instead of spam, ping, like if we could just get something at the top showing us our ping, if we dropped any packets, um, you know, that kind of just seems like the, the modern day take of, of a game. You know what I'm saying? Like, most games have that, and, and they should. I mean, they definitely have it, and Blizzard definitely have it for their Call of Duty titles, so... Um, it would be dope as hell to have that for this. You guys are still alive? God damn. God damn. So, one thing... One thing that's been... Definitely a little whoa. Uh, definitely a little bit of a pain is the stash chest. In re in regards of there needs to be a filter. There needs to be a search filter. We have a filter that organizes it in you know by groups of whatever it is. But I would still love some kind of maybe search filter, some kind of filter option. I would also really love it if every time i open up my chest i don't need to go back to my fourth chest if it could open up on the same chest that i left the chest at um that makes so much more sense because every time i leave the stash now it opens me back up to the very first stash which is already full and then i have to scroll and go back to the last stash i was looking at um so if we found a way where you could just Straight up, open your stash at the last viewed one. That that alone is, is saving time and just making, I'm sure, a lot of people's lives easier. It's just straight up doing that. And even with that, you could edit the chest names. Like you could edit the chest names, name it a chest, which is really cool. Um, but I'd love to reorganize my chest. Like I'd love to be able to like. If I can't open the stash up at the last viewed, at the last viewed one, maybe I could move my most full chest to the back and bring like the empty one that I'm working on to the front. Um, I think that makes sense. I, uh, I, I I think that makes sense. I don't I don't know about you guys, but having to reopen on the on the same chest that's already full just a, such a tremendous waste of time so think about maybe i don't even know what number this is but next on the wish list uh pets why don't we have pets why don't we have pets that could loot all of this gold and all this loot that we drop you know this we drop so much gold this game you just give us so much gold, so much loot, and all this stuff has to be individually picked up. I don't know if they've talked about this before. I don't know if this is planned to come later on. I know, you know, D3 we had pets, um, and so there's many other sort of ARPGs. A couple of them have it as well. And if you just had something else that could help pick up your loot, so that you don't have to individually go and grab each one of these gems and each one of these golds you know we already get so much and then we have to do it individually or if the pet was just for gold that would, that would be great as well so you could just continue to speed through your dungeons and like get those times up instead of having to go and and pick up this gold piece pick up that gold piece That would be tremendous. What are you doing back here? Um, but yeah, I think that's that just about covers my wish list. You know, solo XP buff, pets, stash adjustments, little stash buff. You know what I'm saying? Little filter customization would be cool. Uh, mob priority quest also being added along with main quests that you don't need to do again uh, that'd be another banger for sure 
That would be another banger for sure. Man, this guy's tanky as fuck. Um, and network statistics, you know? Make it so that we know what's happening to our game before it happens. Um, let me know in the comments down below what are some of you guys' wishes. What are some things that you're hopeful for? Um, you know, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like, subscribe. For sure, if you're looking for people to play some Diablo with, we have a nice little community. Link in the description. So, check that out. Ooh. I gotta be careful with this motherfucker. Corruption. Is this the first one that I just got to? Holy shit. Motherfuckers do be tanky though, right? What up, baby? What's up, baby? Talk to me. You know what's so stupid? E trample, druid trample is kind of like um, druid, druid trample is like a fucking horse. Like it travels based on how far away from, from your mount you are, which is stupid. Um, I don't understand that. <laughs> 